topmost in the minds of leaders of the ANC at this stage is the unity of the movement. Um, and, and that unity doesn't mean that we've got to shield one another from accounting. That unity requires that we've got to answer to the allegations which have been put forward, yeah. but we've got to ensure that we do so in a manner that elevates the African National Congress as the leader of society. Because we have been arguing, and many comrades have argued, that leaders of the ANC have got to be, to be scrutinized in a manner that is not common to ordinary people in society. And therefore that same responsibility, that same responsibility, that same standard applies to the president as it applies to any other leader of the ANC. Whatever decision is taken in the next few days, it must not lead to the, um, um, uh, uh, to the destruction of the African National Congress. We must elevate its unity um, and its prestige. These two things go hand in hand. Which way did you vote when President Zuma faced a motion of no confidence and at the time that people were saying we are going to vote with our conscience? I voted... Um, in favor of President Zuma, I opposed those who said they were going to vote with their conscience. And, and I think we, it is an instructive experience for all of us because the, 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 the wheel has turned, uh, the roles have been reversed. Now, the same people who in 2017, 2018 were saying they are going to vote with their conscience, President Motlante said that it would be okay for ANC members to vote um, with their conscience, that they would not be defying or defiling the African National Congress if they voted in favor of that motion. Many members of the ANC marched with the opposition in 2017, demanding that President Zuma should step down. The roles have been reversed. We now should realize the folly of acting in a factional way because we've got to elevate um, not only the interests of the, of, of the unity of the ANC, but its prestige in society and the unity of the country. A divided ANC um, leads to implosion in society. Now, that unity requires accountability. It has to be built on the foundation of accountability. So we need the answers. We must not simply say, that vote against the panel report. That panel report was commissioned by Parliament. It was voted for and supported by Parliament. And so Parliament would be acting in an abnormal way if it turns around after all of this process and after spending so much resources on the, on the report to say, no, suddenly we reject it without saying what do we put forward as the mechanism through which we are going to ensure accountability. Now, let me also make this very clear. The panel has not said that the president must be impeached. It says there is ground for the president to answer. There are serious questions he needs to answer. It doesn't make any judgment call on him. Nor must we presume that the parliamentary process is going to arrive a determination that the president is wrong. The president has insisted that he maintains his innocence. This is the opportunity for him to clarify and, and, and present before the nation mm. his innocence so that we all know what happened at the farm. Let me ask you this question then. Do you believe that President Saul Ramaphosa going into conference now is still the right man to lead the party and indeed by extension the country or are you backing a different candidate? Look, I, I think that the experience of the last five years, uh, you know, people must not be judged on the basis of whether you like them or not. You must judge them on the basis of their track record. We've had unprecedented load shedding. We've had unprecedented unemployment. The economy has been stagnant. The country has been undergoing a prolonged period, period and process of, uh, of fiscal austerity. The, the ANC is more divided today than it's, it's, it's ever been. We've had almost four years 
of um, interim structures existing even as we go to conference in December we do not have an SG we have a, 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 a we don't have a, a deputy SG we have three if not four interim structures that are attending conference actually about five the, 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 the Western Cape Free State the Veterans League the Women's League and the ANC Youth League surely that experience should say to us we cannot say that we are going to disregard all that has happened in the last five years and, dis and demand a repeat of the previous five years. All we right. can't have the same, the same, the, a new five years that looks exactly like the previous five years. So we need to give someone else an opportunity to lead the African National Congress. All right. And uh, we'll find out who that someone else is. But you talk about the destruction of the economy, unprecedented uh, load shedding that we have seen, some will suggest that you should take part of that responsibility, but we'll discuss that. Absolutely not.